can see, there's no driver, no observer, and I think this is the future. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So right now I'm at the bus stop, we've got a vending machine right here, you can get some water, milk and stuff. And of course that's the bus right there approaching, the driverless bus which has got no driver and no observer. The company is We Ride. China is changing the game of the future. We've got the sensors up here, we've got the sensors up here one two and i think more three four let's get to experience the bus as you can see it's being used <laughs> okay so this is the front yeah guys so this is the front of the driverless bus and it's got no driver. Actually, feel like the driver is closing up. Like so. That's the whole bus. So they said, I'm gonna put on my seatbelt so they can go. So that's my seatbelt right there. Uh, so without a seatbelt, it won't move. So I was waiting for me to put on my seatbelt before we could move along. Now I'm sure we are good to go. Yeah, got my seatbelt on. And yeah, it's moving now. That's the honk. It honks by itself. That's it. So guys, as you can see, there's no driver, no observer. I'm sitting in the front seat. It is truly amazing. the robo bus we ride so guys the truth is that this is actually amazing this is china and most times i make videos about stuff like this and when i talk about this people will say that i'm paid to make these videos so that's the reason why sometimes i have to come out here and show you guys the real experience of living here in china and it's free this bus is free you do not need to pay any amount of money to be able to get on this bus and as you can see it's fully automated, it's electric, it's got no driver and I believe that China is definitely urging us into the future this is definitely gonna be the future of the world and I hope that more places can definitely have this I believe there's a few countries already in the world that have this but I'm not sure it's up to this standard yet but definitely in the future we're gonna see more of this So here we are at a bus stop, it's gonna open up, that's it, yeah, this is one of the bus stops at this location, it stops on its own and people get on and it's gonna close I think after about a couple of seconds, so it's waiting for them to put on the seatbelt and it can keep going, let's see how many seconds it's gonna take or how many minutes, it's closing up now, so probably 20 to 30 seconds I believe, next space right here. And as you can see at the red light, it definitely slows down. It's turning green this way. So this is the We Ride Robo Bus. And 
it's not yet located in the popular areas of Guangzhou probably because there's no driver of course this location is not that populated as compared to the other places here in Guangzhou and I believe that's the reason why it's currently at this location and hopefully in the future more populated places will get this you know these are stuff that we see in the movies when we talk about stuff like this China makes this in real life Everything you see in the movies, this is what we can see right here in China and that's the huge difference. So guys, I just succeeded to come to the back so I could get a view of the whole bus from the back, of course. I just passed in my seatbelt so I can show you guys the whole experience on the We Ride Rubber Bus, which is of course driverless. Yeah, I think it's very safe too. And I think this is the future. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. And guys, I must tell you, this bus is really comfortable. Just sitting here, it doesn't dangle a lot. I don't feel nausea. I don't feel uncomfortable. So I think they really did a great job with this bus. And I think this can definitely be the future of most buses in the world. Not just in China, but across in many countries around the world. The technology is starting here in China, but I believe that's gonna expand to many more countries. Okay, thank okay, you very bye much. Bye bye. There's a red light and the bus just stopped for pedestrians to go across the road, which is amazing. So guys, one thing I've noticed is how sensitive the bus is. It's, it's really, really sensitive and from what I've observed so far, it's very safe. From the last time I was here and this time too, it's really safe. You know, I'm always fascinated by such tech that can definitely push the world forward. Not just for China alone, but it can push the whole world. So I hope this can be the future. So the last time I came here, so many people asked me for the location of this bus here in Guangzhou, China. So I'm gonna leave it down in the description below. If you want to get the address, and of course visit this place to experience the bus for yourself here in Guangzhou, China, feel free to check down the description box and you're gonna find the address. And of course, you can come here and see it for yourself. By the way, millennials, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more amazing videos like this every week on this channel. So this is definitely the future and it's not just about EVs here in China. When we talk about the EV leaders like BYD, Xpeng and so many other EV companies here in China, we can also talk about we ride when it comes to buses here in China. And as you just saw, there is no driver right here, but it works, it works on the road. It feels like you are in a giant toy and it feels like it's from a sci-fi movie which is really amazing when you think about it and it's free i didn't spend any amount of money to be able to get on this bus and just spin around 
and that's how so many people do experience this you can see it and it's on its way okay <laughs> 